Hi all, in this video we are going to see about classification of anemia. So this question can be asked as a part of a structured essay question or even as a short essay question. So we will just quickly see what is the classification of anemia. So what do you mean by anemia? Anemia is defined as a decreased red blood cell count or hemoglobin content of blood below the normal level for the age and gender of the subject. See usually I find students forget to tell about the age and gender. Why? Why is it important? Because the normal for different age groups and for different gender is different. So obviously you have to mention that it is below the normal level of level for the age and gender of the subject. And then we've got a grading of anemia also. Mild anemia is considered as hemoglobin of 8 to 10. Moderate when the hemoglobin is between 6 to 8 and severe if hemoglobin is below 6 gram per deciliter. So now coming to the classification of anemia. So there are two types of classification. One is the etiological classification or with beats classification. Etiological means based on the cause of anemia. And morphological classification or Wintrop's classification which means we are going to look at the morphology of the RBC and then classify of which the most important one is this etiological or with beats classification. So let's say what it is. So based on the cause of anemia, you can divide into deficiency anemias, blood loss anemias or hemorrhagic anemias, hemolytic anemias, aplastic anemia and anemia due to chronic disease. So there, is, there are five in etiology classification, deficiency anemias, blood loss anemia, hemolytic, aplastic and anemia due to chronic disease. So in deficiency anemia comes the different uh, types of anemia like iron deficiency anemia in which iron is deficient, megaloblastic anemia due to deficiency of vitamin B12, megaloblastic anemia due to deficiency of folic acid, protein and vitamin C deficiency also can cause anemia. So these are the different uh, anemia which comes due to a deficiency of something like iron, vitamin B12, folic acid, protein or vitamin C. So thus they are called deficiency anemias. Next is blood loss anemias or hemorrhagic anemias. So this can be acute post hemorrhagic anemia as in cases of accidents or chronic post hemorrhagic anemia as in cases of uh, CA uh, stomach or CA uh, colon which causes chronic hemorrhage. Then we've got hemolytic anemias which has a, in which we have hereditary causes as well as acquired causes. So hereditary causes of hemolytic anemia are thalassemia, sickle cell anemia, hereditary spirocytosis and G6PD deficiency. So all these are caused due to an inherent problem or genetic problem and the baby is born like that and thus they are called hereditary hemolytic anemia. Now acquired hemolytic anemia is due to some acquired cause. So this can be due to antibodies then thus it is called immunohemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia due to direct toxic effect. Hemolytic anemia in splenomegaly and hemolytic anemia in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. Um, just understand that in hemolytic anemias you can have hereditary as well as acquired anemias. Then we've got a plastic anemia. Here also we've got hereditary and acquired condition. So the acquired conditions can be chemicals, drugs, radiation of bone marrow and viral infection. Basically, in all these conditions, they are going to depress the bone marrow so that the production of RBC does not take place. So that is called a plastic anemia. So the bone marrow is affected. All the three cell lines, that is WBC, RBC and platelets will be affected in case of a plastic anemia. And then we've got some hereditary conditions like Fanconi's anemia, Schwammann syndrome and idiopathic, which is the most commonest of all. Then we've got anemia due to chronic diseases. Like when you have chronic diseases, like uh, tuberculosis, chronic infection, malignancies or chronic lung disease. So these are the five classification of etiological or the, based on the cause of anemia. Okay. Now we want the morphological or the Winthrop's classification of which the first one is a normocytic normochromic anemia. So the characteristic feature of this type of anemia is that they will have the normal MCV. What do you mean by MCV? mean corpuscular volume. So that will be normal. That means between 78 to 94. Normal MCHC mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration. So the examples of normocytic normochromic anemias are acute post hemorrhagic anemia, hemolytic anemia and aplastic anemia in which the morphology of RBC will be normal. Next is microcytic hyperchromic anemia in which 
just as the name suggests it is microsite which means this cells are small so you have got a reduced mcv a reduced mchc and it is most commonly seen in iron deficiency anemia chronic post hemorrhagic anemia as well as thalassemia and then we've got macrocytic normochromic anemia in which there is increased mcv so just as the name suggests it is macrocyte big cells are there so thus the mcv will be, will be more mchc will be normal and the examples are megaloblastic anemia which can be caused either due to vitamin b12 deficiency or folic acid deficiency so thus that completes morphological classification normocytic microcytic or macrocytic okay so thus we've completed both the classification it's quite simple only thing we should memorize these five categories or causes of anemia so i hope this video is useful for you thank you